Hey guys, today I'm talking about playing outside, and I'm not talking about playing out there, I'm talking about playing outside for chord changes. And I realize that's a big topic to talk about. It's like saying, today I'm going to be talking about playing inside. Um, there's so many different ways you can do it. So I've got three ways today for you to practice this, whether you're already really good at it or you just want to get started with it. Um, the basic idea of these three different exercises is to create tension with your lines, which is pretty easy when you're playing outside, but also be sure to resolve them. And I, I think that's what builds a successful improvisation, is that um, you're creating tension, uh, which you know makes the listener kind of pay attention, basically. But if you go on too long with that, you can lose people. So you want to resolve it and uh, you know sort of show some control over your lines, so you're not just playing, you know, blowing a bunch of random notes all over the place. You can do that for a while as soon as you get some technique, but again, you'll just lose people with that. So the first way that I'm going to show you is working with triads, and this practice is good for, uh, you know, if you're if you just want to work in your triads while working on playing outside you know, combine the two. It's a great way to do it. I've got an ostinato in C, and in this example I'll be playing triads that are major third below C and a major third above C. So that's A flat and E major. And the reason I'm, I chose these is because they actually share some notes in common with C, but there's some outside notes as well, so there's some really nice interesting um, clashes that happen, but then also some nice resolutions that happen as well. So in this example I'll be playing four bars outside and then four bars inside. And um, you may wonder, well, what, why am I choosing to do that? You know, it, it's just an exercise. But this exercise helps you as a player develop control. And it's a great way to practice just about anything. It, it may sound kind of easy. I'll just play four bars this, four bars that. You should give it a shot. It's, it's actually a little bit tough to do. You really have to focus on what it is you're doing. And it gives you some control over your playing. So here's the first example. Uh, I'll be playing outside lines first, then inside lines, back and forth, back and forth. The second way that uh, you can practice this that I'll show you is using intervallic ideas. And again, this is just a great way to sort of work on those kinds of chops. I'm going to be using choosing mostly fourths and fifths. And the reason for that in this particular example, it could be any you know set of intervals, sevenths or thirds or sixths, whatever. But I'm choosing fourths and fifths for this reason, because you're not really staking a flag and saying, I'm playing in this key or, or that key. They're more open, neutral sounds. and so. Especially when you're beginning, you can get away with a lot with these kinds of sounds. Um, and uh, it's, plus it sounds pretty cool too, so nothing wrong with that. So again, four bars inside, or excuse me, four bars outside, and then four bars inside, back and forth. This is what it sounds like. probably the hardest way is to superimpose chord changes from another song over the song that you're playing whether that be an ostinato or maybe you know maybe I'm playing the song all the things you are but I'm going to superimpose changes from another song over that so I'll be improvising as if I'm playing the other song while the backing song is going on um, this is a really really great exercise because man it forces you to really focus on what it is you're doing on those lines that you're playing on thinking about what the chord changes are while you've got some stuff going on in the background is clashing with it. This is a fantastic exercise. It's hard to do. Uh, it's even harder to do successfully. So here's how it sounds. Oh, and I'll be using Giant Steps for this example, my perennial favorite.
lots of different ways you can approach this, and here's three concrete examples that you can work with. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's a lot of fun to practice this. Great way to improve your playing and your ear as well. Uh, and make sure to check back on my website for lots more stuff to come. Thanks. Thank you.